from that great new cereal with the sweetening already on it. Remember now, it's Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops! Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops brings you Wild Bill Hickok, transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Matheson as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingle. The country was only half recovered from the shock of Abraham Lincoln's assassination the year United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his saddle partner Jingles went to Colorado. It was a day in late March that the two lawmen were eating their noon meal in a cafe in the little town of Latham when from the street came the first ominous rumblings of the Wheels of Doom. Say, Bill, now I must have eaten just a little bit more than I thought I did from the looks of this bill. That's possible, Jingles. Yeah. Uh, say, could you let me have, um, well, say a dollar six bits? How much is the bill, partner? Huh? Oh, a dollar six bits? <laughs> I thought so. Okay, here you are. Mm, thanks, Bill. Woo wee. Sure feel better now. Well, we going on to Denver this afternoon? Yep, that's our next stop. We can get started that way. Hey, listen, somebody's sure raising a ruckus out in the street. Sounds like trouble. Come on, Jingles. Well, we should have gone to Denver this morning. Hey, it's a freight wagon. Coming this way. Hey, move you! <laughs> hey, Bill, that coyote's spooking them mules. I'm going to stop that team. Bill, you can't stop them. Run away! Oh, steady. Where they go, Bill? After him, Buckshot. Hi, hi, go! That's a boy, Buckshot. Get in there. Oh, mule. Oh, mule. Come on, Charlie, buddy. That's better. Oh, mule. Hey, Jingles. Bill, you did it. You stopped them cold, and they made mules was going full tilt. Here, Jingles, take this lead mule's head and take him back up the street. Sure, where are you going? To get the gent who started this. Oh, well, there he goes, riding high up the street. I'll get him. Hi, Buckshot, Hi. Hey, mister, I want to talk to you. You ain't getting nothing to say to me. That's the way you want it, mister. Now, come off of that horse. Drop that gun. I'm going to stop you clear to join it. Come on. We can talk later. <clears throat> now, get up from there and start talking. I declare, Bill, you sure do pick a right active way to settle your dinner. You get the team settled down, Jingles? Yeah, I tied him up back there where there was before this hyena cut him loose. Hey, who is he anyway, Bill? That's what I mean to find out. All right, mister, I'm listening. But I ain't talking. Why don't you mind your own business? Oh, thank goodness you say my team. I don't know what we'd have done if you... Oh, wild Bill Hickok! Bill, Bill, look, it's Kathy Hame, old Dogger Hame's daughter. Howdy, Miss Kathy. Oh, I might have known nobody else could ride like that. Dad! Dad, come here! You mean old Dogger's here, too? He sure is. Hey, what you want, daughter? Who the consigned from little tragedies? Well, I'll be go to blazes if it ain't Bill Hickok. And that big tub he calls your deputy. Now, Dogger, you old Christmas turkey, don't you go calling me. Hold no. it, Jingles. Hey. Where'd that Jasper get to? Hey, there, Bill. There he is, talking to that big man with the checkered vest and the handlebar mustache. Zegger. So that's who's behind all our trouble. Then I reckon we'd better give up, Kathy. When hardline Zegger goes to gunning for you, you don't quit till you're playing a harp beyond the pearly gates. <laughs> Hey, partners, here's your old sidekick, Panhandle Jim, with some important news. It's all about our favorite new two-way cereal with a sweetening already on it. Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Whoa, there I go. Let the cat out of the bag when I added sugar to the name Corn Pops. Because that's it, partners. Corn Pops have a new name. Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Yes, sirree, those same golden hearts of corn all popped up bright and sassy, crisp and crunchy... The ones you used to know as Corn Pops have got a new name. Kellogg Sugar Corn Pops. And that's not all. The Kellogg folks knew you liked Corn Pops, but they kept right on working so you'd like them even better. And now they're sweeter and crisper than ever before with a swell new name to boot. Kellogg Sugar Corn Pops. 
So eat them right out of the box, just like candy. Or at breakfast, eat them in a bowl with milk. Because Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops is the wonderful new two-way cereal with the sweetening already on it. You better ride out for the store and load up big on Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Then you'll have plenty around for breakfast and snacks. Yes, sirree. Kids love Pops. Moms love Pops. And Pops love Pops. And now more than ever. Now let's get back to the show. <laughs> Bill Hickok and Jingles have just stopped a runaway freight wagon team and discovered that its owners are old friends, Kathy Haim and her father, Dogger Haim. When Dogger sees the man who spooked their team talking to another by the name of Hardline Zager, he tells Kathy that they might just as well give up. Bill and Jingles are still in the dark because to them, the whole thing is a complete mystery. Now, just what in seven sons is going on here, Dogger? Yeah, Dogger, what do you mean by saying that Hardline Zager is gunning for you and Kathy? Well, he wants your freight contract for Murphy's Line, too, don't he? Oh, you prune-faced old bronc buster, you just ain't making sense. Make sense to me. What's the matter with your brains, Tubby? All dried up on you? Dad, let me tell him. Oh, all right, honey. But you better slice it down mighty thin if you want Jingles to catch on. Now, don't gun you, dogger. I ain't going to take much more from you. I... Hold it, Jingles. Hold it. All right, Miss Kathy. Now, what's this all about? Well, it's very simple. Max Murphy, the president of Amalgamated Trail Merchandise, is out here to open the final leg of his freight run from Latham to North Platte. Oh, up in Nebraska? Sure, it's in Nebraska. Don't you know your map? Oh, that's enough. I'm going to... Jingles. Oh, that old piece of jerky. Go on, Miss Kathy. Well, Dad and I have a freight wagon. We want the contract. Hardline Zegger has three freight wagons. He wants it, too. And he'll get it if he has to kill us. Oh, here comes Mr. Murphy with Zegger. Now, Dad, don't fly off the handle. Well, Miss Hayes... Looks like you have some competition for my freight contract. So I see. Now, Murphy, I wouldn't call Miss Heem's half lame mules much competition for my fine horse. Oh, now you wouldn't, huh? Why, you dressed up scarecrow. I can take them mules and run your horses right into the ground. That's what I can do. Now, go back in your hole, you little gopher. Oh, wait, Dad. Uh, Mr. Murphy, first I'd like to have you meet United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok. Hickok? And his deputy Jingles. That's me. Wild Bill Hickok? Well, now, this is an honor, Marshal. I've been hearing about you for some time. It is an honor. <laughs> oh, it's nothing like that at all. It's yeah. just a... Uh, and what was your name, sir? Jingles, doggone it. Well, how do you do? Well, I do fine. Had a little trouble last week. Just indigestion, though. You see, Jingles. it was... Jingles. Oh. Come on, Murphy. Let's get down to business. You know right well that this little gal and her old man can't handle your business. Now, I can't... What makes you think we can't, Zegger? Why, with those flea-bitten mules? Well, maybe I have an idea, Zegger. If Mr. Murphy will go along with it. Well, now, I'm one who loves a good sporting proposition, Miss Kathy, if that's what's on your mind. That's just what I have in mind. Good for you. Stay out of this, Jingles. Well, it's getting kind of hard for me to do that, Bill. Never mind. What are you up to, Miss Kathy? Well, just this. Mr. Murphy, you told me yesterday that you have two tons of goods here in Latham... Ready to make the first shipment to North Platte. That's right. Why don't we have a race with a contract as the prize? Now, you make that sound mighty interesting. Yeah, games are for children. This is business, Murphy. Are you afraid to back up your brag about your fine horses, Mr. Zegger? Not by a darn sight. Well, then listen to my proposition. Do you know what you're getting into, Miss Kathy? Sure she does, Bill. My daughter's got spunk. She sure has, but I don't like the sounds of this. Well, here's what we'll do. Zegger can pick his best team and wagon and load 2,000 pounds of your merchandise on it. Dad and I'll take the other ton on our wagon. Oh, by Jupiter, I begin to see what you're up to. I, I like it. Go on. We'll start together tomorrow morning at sunup with the wagons loaded. The first one to reach North Platte with the goods in perfect condition wins the contract. Well, that suits me. And I'll pay full rates for the run, 25 cents a pound to each of you. And I'll do better than that. I'll put up an extra 250 prize money to the winner. Oh, Dad, you hear that? With $750, we can buy another wagon and team. Now we'll be in business. What do you say, Zager? Eh, you're all loco, but I'll do it. You might as well write out that contract now. No pigtailed gal and a bunch of mules are going to stop me from winning. Just a minute. There's one more condition. Well, who's making the rules of this race? Hear her out now, Zager. I'm liking this little gal more every minute. You pulled one dirty trick on me this noon, Zager. It was your man that spooked my mules. I'll forget that. 
But just to see that it doesn't happen again, I'm asking Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles to follow this race and see that it's won fair and square. Now, that's another good idea. How about it, Hickok? Say no, Bill. It means trouble. Oh, please say yes, Bill. I like your spunk, Miss Kathy. Jingles and I'll go along. But I'm warning you, Zager. One more trick like you pulled today and your race might end up real sudden. Have your wagons loaded and ready to go at sunup. gets around fast, don't it? The whole town's turned out to see the race get started. Well, Hickok, they're ready to go. Okay, Mr. Murphy, let's go get them started. Everything's set, Bill. Any last words? This is no time for talking. Let's get started. Shoot that gun. Not so fast, Zigger. Oh, I'm getting to like that varmint less by the minute. Now, you both know the rules. You drive one wagon and team to North Platte. Yeah, we know. It's over 100 miles. You deliver the goods in perfect condition. And the first one there wins the contract and the extra $250... And we'll be right behind you. Now, here's a start. You ready? One, two, three. May the best team win. Come on. Hill, something's wrong with Miss Kathy's wagon. Come on, let's have a look. It's the wheel. It's busted down. Oh, Bill, look at that wheel. Oh, that's too bad, Miss Kathy. Hey, hey, take a look at this. What is it, Bill? That spoke there, Jingles. It's been sawed almost in two. Why, that low-down sneaking polecat must have done it during the night. Come on, let's get this wheel changed, then we'll go after Hardline Zager. Well, that sure was a dirty trick on Miss Kathy, Bill. Zager seems to be full of dirty tricks, Jingles. Well, it gave him a big head start on him, all right. Even with us helping, it took a long time to fix that wheel. We'll catch up with him and make him wait for Kathy. Now you're talking. Hey, Bill. Bill, do you see what I see? Yeah, partner. Pull up. Hey, watch out. Whoa, oh, ho, Joker. Now, what do you reckon that means? It means Zager sent another wagon out ahead of him last night. Oh, what's he going to do with two wagons? But he's load up. Put half of it on the other wagon. That makes them both lighter, and he can make more speed that way. Well, then he figures to get almost to North Platte and change it over again. Looks like that would be his game. Uh-oh, they spotted us, Bill. Well, here's where we break up their little scheme. Come on. Jim Joker! I have a shot. Bill, there's four of them! All right, partner, dust them off a little. Down. All right, Zigger, hold your fire. Get away from here, Hickok, or you ain't living long. I feel real healthy, Zigger. Put away that hog leg. Sure, I'll put it away. Well, I guess you got to put away for you, Zigger. All right, Zigger. Now get all that goods back on your own wagon. Hickok, you're going to regret this. No, mister, you're going to regret not playing fair with Miss Kathy. You're going to wait right here for her till she catches up. That ain't fair. Well, look who's screaming fair. After you sawed one of Miss Kathy's wheels in two and now trying to split your load on two wagons. Yeah, Zigger, it looks like you're going to keep on till you cheat yourself right out of that contract. Now get that load moving. You can go on when Miss Kathy catches up. Well, I reckon we taught Zager his lesson, Bill. Mm, ain't had no trouble for a whole day. Yeah, but I feel sorry for Miss Kathy and Doger. Those are mighty good horses Zager has. Yeah, he pulled right out in front again. Must be a good three miles in the lead by now. Well, if he wins it, fair and square, there's nothing Miss Kathy can do. Eh, seems a dirty shame after all the rotten tricks he's pulled. But he might still slip up. <laughs> you can't tell. <laughs> Looks like we're going to come up winner. Sure, Buzz. We got a good team. Just the same, I don't like to take no chances. Yeah, you're right. Hey, look ahead. There's the pass over Elks Mountain. Yeah, from there on, it's all downhill. Now, you don't get me. This gives me an idea to put that heme wagon out of any race for all time. What are you getting at, Buzz? Now, here. This is close enough. Whoa, whoa, team, whoa. Drag them lines, Flash. Yeah, that's it. Now, come on. Get something up your sleeve, boss. Yeah, you better have. 
Well, just take this sign that says this way to Rattlesnake Valley and put it on this right-hand fork. Here, like this. Then we can take the left-hand fork just like we planned on. Sure. Only when you drive the wagon down, I'll cover our tracks some. The wind up here will do the rest. And when Dagger, Haim, and Kathy come along, they'll take the right-hand road. That's right. And no team can navigate that road. It's a regular trail for a mountain goat. And once you're on it, you can't turn around. Come on, let's go. This wind is getting worse. We've got a river to ford before it gets dark. Well, Dad, we made the top of Elk Mountain anyway. Here's the path. Zig is still ahead of us. Well, what do we stop him here for? Get them there long ears of trotting. It's all downhill from here on, ain't it? Well, I guess so. We've never been over this road before. Well, we go through Rattlesnake Valley. Uh, what's that there sign say? Rattlesnake Valley points to the right-hand road. Then talk to them mules. Let's get off this here mountain before the wind blows my beard off. <laughs> We're still behind, you go, know. Go, Buckskin. Hi-ya. Get up. Hi-ya. 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 on Elk Mountain? Most of the time, I guess. Wait, Jingles. What do you see, Bill? A rattler? No, but if I'm reading sign right, there's been worse than a rattler through here. Well, I don't get you, partner. Whoa, whoa, Steady, Joker. Steady. Hey, Jingles, look down there. That's a track left by Zager's wagon going over the crest to the left. Yeah, I see that. But, but, what's that set of tracks going down the road to the right? Those are the wide rim wheel tracks of Miss Kathy's wagon. I see why, too. That sign's been moved. You mean Zager sent Miss Kathy down the wrong road? Yeah, partner, and unless a miracle happens, he sent Miss Kathy and Dogger to their death. Come on. Hi, Buckshot, hi. Jump, Joker, you heard what Bill said. Oh, oh, oh. I can't hold him, daughter. Lay on them brakes. They're not doing any good, Dad. Hey, partners, I got to going so hard my sugar corn pops almost forgot to set them down for a moment while I chat with you. And listen, speaking of forgetting, Wranglers, make sure you remember that swell new name we got for corn pops now, Kellogg Sugar Corn Pops, that wonderful new two-way cereal with a sweetening already in it. Golden hearts of corn puffed up bright and crisp, right and ready for eating. Yep, right out of the box, just like candy, or at breakfast in a bowl with milk. They're just delicious. And say, wait till you taste the wonderful new sweetness and flavor of sugar corn pops. The Kellogg folks are now making them sweeter and crisper than ever before. So you're going to like them better than ever from here on. And now, Kellogg sugar corn pops come in boxes that are easier than ever to recognize. They got real-life color pictures of Wild Bill Hickok, who was Guy Madison... And Jingles, who's Andy Devine, right on front. And Wild Bill's famous gun cutouts on back. So get a load of them tomorrow, sure. And who loves Kellogg's sugar corn pops? Kids love pops. Moms love pops. And pops love pops. And now, let's get back to Wild Bill and Jingles. <laughs> Zager and Lash changed the sign to Rattlesnake Valley. They sent Kathy and her dad, Dogger Haim, down a narrow, treacherous mountain road. The mules, unable to hold the wagon back, started running downhill and were about to send Kathy and Dogger hurtling to their death. Dad! That curb will never make it! Dad! He's got it! He's still hit up! He's pulling on their brains, Dogger! I ain't got the lead fuel by the nose, Bill. All that you long ears, push tail critters. Turn out on your heart. Stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You all right, Miss oh, Kathy? I, I think so. Well, 
We wouldn't have been nothing but angels in another minute. Oh. I'm afraid that was my fault, Miss Kathy. I, I never figured Ziggler would send you down the wrong road. Oh, it doesn't make any difference now, Bill. We lost the race before we got to the pass. Now, ma'am, no race is lost until the last gun goes off. Jingles is right, Miss Kathy. But we can't turn around on this road. No, but I know a shortcut in the North Flat from the bottom of this grade. Yes, ma'am, you just get your dander up and keep going. We'll throw a loop over the tail of your wagon and hold you back as you go downhill. Just keep thinking you're going to win, Miss Kathy. Yes, sir. Now, let's go now. North Flat, here we come. When I get a hold of that hardline Zager, I'm going to soften him up a mite. Well, Ash, we made it. Yeah, I'd land. Guess we get the contract and the prize money, eh? <laughs> you said it. And here comes Mr. Murphy to give it to us. How'd he get here? Ooh, took the stage through to welcome us, I guess. So you got in first after all, Zager. Why, sure, I knew we would, Murphy. You got that contract all set up for signing? Sure have, Zager. Just waiting on you. Yeah, that was easier than we thought, Murphy. I told you it'd be a cinch. Well, come on over to the hotel. Got the papers all set out on the table and ready to sign. It'll be a pleasure. Come on, Lash. Have a very exciting trip, Zager. Ah, very uneventful. Well, from the start, that demon or daughter and old paw never saw nothing but our dust. Is that so? Oh, sure. You didn't think they stood a chance, did you? Well, you never can be too sure about that kind of thing. Right on through the door there. Hey, you got the prize money ready, too? Sure, it's waiting with the contract right inside. All ready for the winner. Well, I'll sure be glad. Hey, Hickok. Howdy, Zegger. Hickok, what are you doing here? Surprise! Well, you got here in time to congratulate me, Mr. Zegger. How nice. Murphy, what's all this mean? It means, Jughead, that your meanness just caught up with you. And I do want to thank you for putting that sign on the other side of the road. Sure was a nice shortcut. Yep, almost got us killed, didn't you? So you thought. <laughs> but you didn't count on Wild Bill Hickok. Well, Miss Kathy, now that you have an audience, you might as well sign that contract. Yeah, and collect the prize money. <laughs> Too bad, Zager. I still can't figure out how you got here first. They won fair and square. You finished, Zager. Yeah, that's fine, Miss Kathy. And here's the $750. I know our freight's going to be in good hands from now on. Hickok, I'll get you for this. You done your last getting, you sneaking polecat, except for getting out of here right now. I'm throwing you so far, you'll never come back. There! Hey! Look at him bounce! <laughs> And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison, and Andy Devine. Andy and I hope you'll remember to get Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Right. That's Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. The cereal you used to know is Corn Pops. The great new cereal with the sweetening already on it. You bet it is. Andy and I think Sugar Corn Pops are great. So long. See you next week. <laughs> Sir, be sure to listen next week at the same time on this same station when Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops brings you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Gene Bates, Paul McVeigh, Fred Howard, Joe Duvall, and Jack Moyle. Our director is Paul Pierce. Music by Dick O'Ron. This is a David Heyer production transcribed in Hollywood. This is Charlie Lyon reminding you... Kids love pops, moms love pops, pops love pops. Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops.